Hello, welcome in Empyrean Galactic Survival Reforged Eden 1 and this is Defiance. Today I will show you how to uh, upgrade this ship and, and what kind of features have this light freighter. So, this is light freighter capable for space combat when it's uh, upgraded and we have here some xeno blocks and combat steel blocks on the front to uh, to tank some damage when your field is down so every time you find in a fight in space be sure you are facing your opponent on the front Please don't. Uh, if if you want to flee from the battle, please don't turn around. You have uh, strong backward thrusters, so simply retreat, going back. Okay, but first, quick tour. Uh, this ship have lot of hard points for weapons and uh, turrets we, we can slap two cannons here one cannon here or if you want you can simply delay this and uh, slap here another turret maybe some multi-tool uh, turret or something uh, here we have uh, turrets three uh, hard points for uh, another cannon, two hard points for another cannon. Uh, in the front, I I put it only uh, only turret uh, hard points. Make sure this hard point, these turrets are very cheap because they will be destroyed uh at first if you uh, if you have some bad luck in your um, in your battle here we have another two uh hard points and also here we have hard points for tur turrets and uh and cannons and here we have single cannon uh, hard point this is uh very important to have this hard, po hard points for fixed weapons at the different um, distance from the uh, from the enemy, especially if we talking about uh, artillery turrets, uh, because you know this turret uh, this not to the, the, the artillery cannons because if you shoot at the enemy this cannon hit the hit them first this cannon second and this cannon third it it's a little bit uh, distance from cannon to cannon and uh, and it's it's better way to destroy the, uh, your enemies. Also here, this cannon cannons will be distanced from the uh, each other. All right, mm, let's go inside. This is. Uh, hangar as we see I have for now one advanced generator and uh, some blocks this is carbon substrate we can delete all of these blocks because this is simply um, my take <laughs> my take of uh, building something similar to the large uh, generator and if you want to slap here another one you can simply delay these blocks to make a space for another one uh, and 
also here you can slap here another um, big generator uh, and delayed all of these blocks to slap another one and you can have uh, four in this slots and even if you really want more power you can delete all of these blocks to to place here another two con two generators or if you want you can place here whenever whatever you want also here we have some boxes but this is decoration to be honest you can simply delete all of this and place whatever you want you can uh, expand your cargo uh, capacity and so on and so forth now this is production area uh, of course you can maybe place here more constructors if you uh, if you really need this uh, we have some boxes to store weapons uh, to store armors and every loot you want here we have ammunition controller uh, 320 thousands so full ammunition and uh, another one but this is uh, this is normal cargo uh, container more cargo we will find going that way so we have another one 33,000 and this is harvest container container and going going that way here behind the hatch we have another container controller now it is uh, 600 40,000 uh, cargo containers. So we have two normal cargo, uh, one harvest and one full ammunition uh, container. First, if uh, if we uh, talking about uh, upgrades, we will upgrade our CPU to the max, and but before before I do that I will show you a little a true room we have some bridges uh, put processor you can simply delay this uh, deco block to, to slap another food processor if you need this uh, we have some uh, some bats of course if you playing on the server bats are simply uh, cosmetics so we, so we can uh, delay this and slap everything you want but i i like to have some cosmetics some rp stuff in my, in my builds we have also one armor locker here and uh, one armor locker is in the hangar to quicker access here we have passage to the second bridge we have here uh, another uh, auto station we can call the elevator and go to the second bridge and we have another auto station and another armor locker if you want to change your armor or uh, more upgrades and in my opinion this bridge is better uh, have, have better view uh, in combat and from here we can go straight to the landing pad from here we can go straight to this uh, this kitchen area And we can go from here to the main bridge 
as you see the view is a little bit obstructed by the huge nose of this uh, of this freighter so so I like to use the secondary uh, bridge and from here we can go down with elevator once more in the kitchen and in the CPU area shower and toilet is here near the full medical bay with once more auto station armor locker so this is the main main utility area for managing your health your your armor oxygen and radiation everything in one place all right now and uh, this this ship is let's go to device or system it's core six so we have one basic extender, two advanced, and two improved. So we can uh, add three advanced CPU cores. Okay. Oh. Well, Okay, we have advanced CPU cores, and now this is CPU area. We can place first CPU extender, but first I uh, turn off the shield. We can put the one here, like so. We can put another two. Uh, to do this, I will delay this carbon substrate blocks. And now we are core five, uh, core nine. So it's full, full upgraded with standard. Uh, CPU extenders. We have one, two, three, four, five slots for axillary cores. Uh, if you, uh, if you um, destroy some drones and take some parts, and we have, of course, lot of uh, upgradability right here. So, what I want to uh, to do first, of course. Because it's crater, I want to uh, I want to upgrade the thrusting power. So let's turn on the sym symmetry plane, and first we want to upgrade. The trusting power. So let's delay this smaller uh, engines. We can also delay this blocks. Only these two blocks. Or even, okay, we can delete also these blocks. I remember now. Let's light this up. As you see, it looks like this. And we simply slap this advanced thruster, the, the basic, uh, the basic uh, version. Because it's looking consistent now. And we can simply paint it in this uh, color this uh, 
yellow one. So forward thrust is upgraded now. Backward thrust, which is very, very uh, important in battles. Like this. Now we delayed this deco parts, and as you see, we have a little bit more uh, space to add another trustos. But we need also delayed this blocks in the outside because I place it here this blocks only for uh, for look and now we will use this enclosed advanced clusters spent it like that and let's let's simply simply click uh, control and right click to to copy uh, other color and texture so we have here we can also delay this smaller thrusters as you see we have enough uh, enough space for another another advanced enclosed thruster so uh, let's look on the uh, lift trust we can also add some more here as you see we have a lot of Xeno to protect the thrusters because they are on the front and uh, only front uh, of this ship is so so much protected so be aware of it and simply slap here thrusters lift trust is upgraded now now we can look at the down a downward trust. I'm not really sure I have uh, the slot for this, but uh, you know the downward uh, trust. It's not so important as lift trust and uh, straightening trust, and so on and so forth. I will painted because I'm it's annoying to have this yes. so so the this this is the the one um, one weak spot of this ship uh, only two downward thrusters but in the space battle you simply use your strafing uh, forward and backward the most and they are very very uh, good right now let's see we have a lot more of CPU now uh, we have 60 forward 77 uh, strafing so a lot of strafing trust uh, trust and I even I even can uh, delay one of these and place here some of the um, some of the blocks.
like this. For now, of course, if you really want to have very, very big amount of uh, strafing trust, you can do it. I, I think 62 is uh, more than enough. We have a little bit uh, not... Well, yo, it's not, uh, not strong, but... It's a big ship. It's a long ship. It's normal. This is traitor, not a fighter. So... Mm. So, it is what it is. Next thing, I I like to uh, upgrade in my ship after the thrusters. Mm, it's shield and warp drive. We have stock, uh, stock uh, warp drive and advanced shield generator. So, shield, uh, shield is upgraded, upgraded but uh, this warp drive isn't. And... For me, it's a uh, it must have to get a better warp drive. So we put here advanced warp drive like this. The next thing is shield parts. So this is uh, this is area for medium shield parts, and I need to turn off the sym uh, symmetry mode. Now we have a uh, one shield capacitor bank. I like to put the. We are installing them uh, like this. I like to have two capacitors. Here, two capacitors here, and two chargers here. Now, these shield parts are very, very heavy, so we are not so fast like before, but we are still fast. CPU, we have still a little bit more CPU to add some weapons. And we have almost uh, 50,000 shield. Next thing we need really to, to check is power uh, input. Let's fill out of this. Let's take some refined pentax seed and fill the pentax seed tank. And now I turn on the shield pressing X, and now I, I see I need another one generator, at least another one generator. So let's go down and we can simply click uh, control and left uh, and, and right mouse button and we can slap another advanced generator here let's look Okay, turn on the shield and let's try to 
fly around, barrel rolling, doing some sick shit, sick shit. And as we see, we are okay. We are hitting 77% of power consumption, which is great. We don't need another uh, generator. So two generators is enough for this setup. So we can uh, we can start to upgrade the armaments. And now it's simply uh, it's simply your your choice what you really want to do with this ship if you really want to uh, fly around shooting uh, bad guys i really re recommend to to use this is tool turret Okay, positron turrets and laser turrets. So I highly recommend to use a uh, three type of uh, weapons. First, we have laser turrets. I put this put this on the front or here. for here now I can put another two here and it will be probably enough now I delayed this because we want to have four positrons. Positron, in my opinion, is the best turret for taking off all of this pesky and really fast drones uh, in the space, interceptors and uh, and so on and so forth, and they are scan so they they are very good for um, for uh, destroying shield shields and uh, components also so very versatile very powerful uh, turrets even if I uh, if I don't have uh, other turrets I, I I want to be sure to have at least four uh, of these positrons because they are great. Uh, next, we want some uh, drone uh, protection uh, on the planets and to uh, to lower our CPU usage, we change this uh, this Gatling guns for colonist bolter turrets. You need tungsten to to craft some um, craft some ammunition for uh, for these turrets, but they are much cheaper even if uh, even than the uh, standard Gatling guns. So we can put uh, a lot of these turrets around to protect our ship from drone attacks even on the back and I uh, and I recommend to put uh, some of them only for drones and NPCs and not not really uh, we don't really uh, want to lose all of this uh, ammunition to fighting some tougher enemies in space and 
this turret needs only 6000 CPU, while laser turret, the stripper one, needs 22000 CPU. Ok, how much CPU we have left? And as you see, more I add, uh, more weapons I add, less shield I have. So it's important to balance this. Uh, Alright, so we need something to take off the shield of our enemies. So let's delete these two blocks here. Let's delete this and well, we can put this like this, like that, because it's it's lasers, so it will maybe maybe that way will be looking nice. So we have two lasers here, two lasers here. Great, we have four laser cannons to take out the shields, uh, four uh, laser turrets and four positrons more than enough to start mm, to start killing some Xyrax ships. First artillery cannon we can put here. And I really like the look of this cannon now. It's really really looks like some uh, some weapons from the Second World War II. And now we need more DPS CPU. Oh, we are over CPU. It's not good. Uh, uh, okay, we need to... We need to take off some of the uh, armaments. I simply change this. Um, laser weapons for for this. Now let's look at. The, okay, we are still over CPU. What we can do? Uh, I simply in this in this scenario I simply uh, delete one of the capacitor banks, because they are very, very uh, expensive. And what we have here, I can also delete one of these small shield parts. Uh, it's stock shield parts. Okay, what's next? I have some decoys on the front and I am not sure it's necessary to have so many decoys. Because, as you see, we have this generator and uh, this generator will be... Uh, will be target for our... Um, for our enemies, so simply behind these blocks we have this enclosed medium thrusters. We can delete this. We have some CPU. And we start to We start to searching another way to spare some CPU uh, for us. So even I can delete all of these lasers for now. Because we have 
four fixed lasers. And they are more, uh, more important for me. Okay. Next. What we can do next, we can also uh, relate two of these clusters, so we don't need so much uh, so much trusts. We can upgrade this later. And now we have much more CPU. Let's see about All right. Now let's put these deco blocks again here. And here, okay. And now we can put some artillery. Delayed, delayed, delayed. And delayed. One, two, three. Look at this one. One, two, three. Okay, let's try to add another one. Oh, it's bad. Like this, definitely like this, and we have we are little bit over CPU. So what we can do next? Um, but still. It's not a big amount, only 46,000, uh, while we have over 2 millions, so it will be efficiency about 97% maybe. So for me it's okay to have a little bit more CPU. And what is this? This is deco block. Okay. Of course, we can maybe you know delay this to uh, to reds. Take some uh, take some CPU, but this moment we have the main weapons: four fixed la uh, advanced lasers and four. And four of this positron beam turrets and four artillery turrets, and this is very good setting to to destroy uh, some of the weaker enemies in the uh, reforged Eden. And then when we when we got a little bit more CPU, like maybe this uh, aux cores. Yeah, you can put here.
five ox cores here. You can also delay this and put here some ox cores. We can put uh, some ox cores everywhere, to be honest. Uh, but uh, okay, with these five ox cores we have now lot of uh, upgradability. We can go and um, and add another one uh, medium shield part. We can we can delay this carbon substrate blocks to uh, to add some smaller shield parts like this. We can add some shield part here. Uh, we can even uh, add some small shield parts in the hallway because if you have this advanced warp drive uh, upgraded, you don't need this hallway anymore. Uh, or, of course, if you if you want uh, want to install some end game stuff here, some, this very very long range warp drive in this ship. Maybe you need this hallway, but to be honest, this is not the end end game uh, ship. This is uh, radar mid game ship. So we can also put every everything here and with uh, and with this big amount of CPU, you really uh, can go wild. Add more. Uh, more expensive turret. You can slap everywhere the positrons, and you will be really uh, dangerous for your opponents. We can uh, also upgrade this for the uh, long range radar, but. Uh, this this video uh, will be focused on upgrading this ship to core nine, and now I have in my factory core nine version. And as we see, I don't have uh, any positrons here. I have a uh, lot of lasers, which is also nice. I have this uh, colonist bolter turrets because they are cheap and they are on the front. And we have also four fixed lasers and four fixed art artillery. I also don't upgrade uh, uh, the trust so much in this version. But to be honest, I really, really like to have strong back uh, trust in the combat. And in this version, we have full uh, shield. Um, compartment here because we don't have so much thrusters and we also have stock warp drive here but but I really um, okay it's it's combat version uh, but but you know to to play the reforge Eden nicely uh you need to to have a carrier for this freighter and it's it's inconvenient uh, in the uh, mid game so i rather want to sacrifice some shields for the thrusters and for the battle warp drive here and i think this setting is much uh, more practical so it's everything for today thanks for watching and have a great day